So, this is my DIY auto top off system. Got the RODI up here. Um, had to plumb it in. So, this is the on switch right here for my sprinkler system. Well, I live in North Dakota, so we can't have water rushing past this uh, faucet to get to my sprinkler system, freeze, and crack everything. So I installed a secondary shutoff valve. This is in the off position right now so that water can't continue on its merry way to my sprinkler system. Uh, so here we've got a T. I haven't hooked up the uh, second wire for my TDS meter um, just yet, but there we have uh, measuring the TDS of the output. And then we go up into a T, which you can't see, it's up above the RODI unit. And that tees off into, uh, we're going to put some tubing here to run into a 32 gallon storage container for mixing up salt water. And then we, we do have uh, plastic ball valves on that line and the one, this is the line that's going to run up and over. And you probably can't see much anything, well maybe you can. Uh, this line runs up and into the tank from below. So if we go upstairs, gotta keep the camera up, I don't need people seeing my messy house right now. It's been all fish tank all the time lately, so house is a little messy. But we are going to be fixing this hole back here. We did cut that hole in there, if you can see. Um, we'll be putting something similar to what they use for refrigerators that are hooked up to water on there. And uh, we're going to clean up this uh, hose we have right here. Uh, we're going to roll it up the little surface loop and hang it either pin it to the wall or pin it to the side of the tank. Um, and then we just have it run into in here. It's connected to the, we got the egg crate zip tied to this uh, old pump hanger and going to a float valve right there. And uh, I don't know if you can see from the video, we have a couple of green lines. Uh, drawn on the sump. That's just with dry erase marker. It'll wash right off. Um, but that's where I want my water level to be in between those two green lines. You'll see right now it's about perfect. It's uh, gone up a little bit since I turned this on when I got home. But I think we're doing uh, pretty good. I think the float valve right now is in the off position. I tried looking in there and uh, it's hard to tell but it doesn't look like any more water's coming out. Maybe a very slow drip. But that is my DIY auto top off. Uh, hopefully by middle of next week I'll have my leak detection hooked up to my Neptune. Neptune should be in on Friday. Hopefully leak detection will be on Friday, but I don't expect it till later in the week, uh, maybe Wednesday of next week. Then I'll get that leak detection and I can let it run full time so that I don't have to worry. You can shoot me an email if we do get some spillage and I can be home in time to take care of it. That's all for now.